Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy sneakers, then trust me, you have come to the right place. We do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also find me in the meantime, between time on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, let's dive into some Yeezys. Yeezys on Deckington. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cinder. These released about a week ago, a little over a week, I guess, and retail was 220 bucks, the standard 350 price point. Shouts to Kicks are for us for the assist on these. Obviously, most sneaker stores are closed right now because we're all quarantining, but you can always shop online and it's a good way to continue to support small businesses, at least in my opinion. Now, as a lot of you know, I've said it a bunch of times, so I won't go off on some crazy rant. I'll just say, in general, generally speaking, I'm tired of the 350. It's an awesome sneaker, but there are so many colorways where I'm just like, eh, whatever, you know? I actually do dig this Cinder colorway though. It's plain, it's simple, but I think I prefer, I don't know if it was always this way, but I think when it comes to the 350, I prefer the darker colorways. We've gotten so many tans and beiges and creams, so many different shades of essentially the same exact color. There hasn't been as many darker colorways, I guess is the point that I'm making. And even if this is in the same earth tone realm as most Yeezy stuff, it looks a lot different than most of the colorways that I see. To me, this would be a really good sneaker for the fall. I don't think I would give these many spins during the summer, not because I'm opposed to a dark sneaker in the summer. It's not like I'm like, oh, I can only wear white sneakers in the summer and burgundy in the fall. It's not really burgundy boys, gang, gang, gang. I just don't think that I would wear these much in the summertime. We're actually gonna give this pair away over on our Patreon page next month. We do a huge monthly giveaway every single month over on Patreon. If you wanna check that out, it's Patreon patreon.com forward slash Mr. Former Simpson. We will put a link in the description. I don't want to sidetrack too much, but I did want to throw that out there because a lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter and Instagram asking about the giveaways and that is where we do them. And I don't, I don't know if I've maybe mentioned once or twice ever on YouTube about that. So there is the info on that. Now, as far as the info on this sneaker and the details go, Cinder is the official colorway. It's kind of a charcoal, it's kind of a dark gray or maybe even an ashy black, standard supply stripe on the side. Chunky round laces, pull tab on the back, again, all standard 350 tings. And the outsole, it's almost like a muddy gum bottom, somewhere between tan and brown, yellow boost branding on the heel and the actual boost peeking through as you can see. It's a solid sneaker, it is. The 350 is obviously the most popular Yeezy model for Adidas. Just on sheer numbers produced, you can tell people are buying them up and I can't blame them. It is a cool looking sneaker and they're super cozy. Cozy Boy certified 100%. You can throw them on with whatever, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. And I think that's why they've been so popular. 
you know, and I say have been so popular because it has lasted quite a while now. I don't think this look is gonna necessarily age that well in the big scheme of things, like five, 10 years down the road, but at the moment, they're definitely a good look. I get more excited about the newer Yeezy models personally. I'm still trying to get my hands on a pair of the Yeezy Quantum basketball sneakers, but I still almost always have a 350 in the rotation or at least nearby, at least within arm's reach. Overall, I'm gonna give these maybe like a 6.9, seven out of 10. That's like the range that I have most 350s. Buckets, where do you got these coming in at? Like a six, but it's in the context of all of them. Right, there's been so many of them. If you never owned a pair of 350s, you might be like, oh shit, I gotta grab me a pair of those. But once you've, I feel like, this is what I'll say about 350s. I feel like once you've had a few of them, you've kind of had all of them. So it's still a great sneaker, but that's kind of where I'm at with it. So 6.9 out of 10 for me, six out of 10 from Young Buckets Esquire, the silence behind the violence behind the camera. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway specifically? How do you feel about Yeezys in general, 350s in general? What is your favorite Yeezy model? What's your favorite Yeezy colorway? However you feel, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker. And we got some really cool sneakers coming in, so definitely stay tuned. Hope everyone is staying safe out there. Adios.